Hi, I'm Scott Roberts with Explore Scientific and welcome to the 25th anniversary of the Northeast Astronomy Forum here in Suffern, New York. We're here with hundreds of other exhibitors and this is the world's largest astronomy show. And we're excited to be here because we've got a lot of new stuff. We've got the first light series. This is our inexpensive uh, line of telescopes ranging from $79 going all the way up to about uh, $1,500. It includes refractors, Maxutov reflectors, refractors getting bigger, and a Newtonian reflector. This is an 8-inch Newtonian. This is called the new Twilight Nano Mount. Very, very smooth. Worked with just a handle. Push it around. Nothing to break. It's point and shoot. It's very, very easy to use. Very smooth, very stable. Uh, can hold up to like an 80 millimeter refractor. Then we move to uh, the Twilight One mount, which a lot of you are already familiar with. This mount has been one of our best selling mounts. It has a uh, so much control for alt as, and um, it also has an adjustable head that can go from this angled position up to a standard upright position, whether you're going to use it for astronomy or for like spotting if you'd like to. Uh, mounted on it is a new 100 millimeter Maxitov uh, telescope. Uh, we also then move on to like a, a five inch Mac. Uh, we have an 80 millimeter refractor, 100 millimeter refractor, six inch refractor, and this is uh, $1,500, the combination package. And that's on a go-to mount, okay? The go-to mount itself is called the Exos 2. The whole system here with an eight inch Newtonian reflector, $999. A great new line, it'll be out this fall. Moving over, uh, you'll see that Trust Tube Dobsonian uh, comes in three different models. We have a 10 inch, the one you see here is a 10. We've got a 12 inch model and we've got a 16 inch model. It's really cool because it all breaks down really compact and uh, you can put it in the back seat of a very small car. And this lid that when the, when the trusses are off, it closes down and protects the mirror. Uh, fantastic value at only $700, available this summer. Uh, moving in the back, uh, you're seeing the uh, Explore Scientific Airstream. We've been taking this on road shows. We just got fr back from the Winter Star Party. We're here at Neve with it. Our next stop will be the Texas Star Party, and you'll see us parked out there with our telescopes. Down here, uh, you see the Bresser line of microscopes. We don't just do telescopes and eyepieces. We do microscopes and a whole lot more. The Bresser line is a 50-year-plus brand. You'll see a lot of other great Bresser stuff on our websites as well. Microscopes, binoculars, spotting scopes, uh, and other sports optics. Down in the showcase here, explore scientific eyepieces. Uh, you've seen me in other videos talking about them, and I'm just talking now about the 12 and 17 millimeter, 92 degree apparent field eyepieces. We showed these earlier this year. They're available now. These are a hyper wide class eyepiece, extremely well corrected, with very, very long eye relief. So if you're looking for something that's the ultimate in comfort in the hyper wide class, these are the eyepieces for you. David Levy can talk more about it now. I asked Scott if I could borrow this eyepiece last night, and I put it into a tiny little insignificant six inch reflector. And I put it in, and it is the best eyepiece I've ever had. It's a 12 millimeter, so it's an intermediate power. But what it did was it showed structure in M51. The galaxy was faint like it is in a six inch, but the structure I'd never seen before in that. And it was kind of in the soup on the north where the sky wasn't all that good. And it was still wonderful. And uh, so I was just delighted with this eyepiece. Nice work, Scott. that we have one of the new FCD 100 APOs. This is the uh, 102, uh, 102 millimeter F7. This is a, a new 2.5 inch hex focuser. Very, very uh, nice, uh, nice focusing system. Uh, an improvement from Explore Scientific, $1,500. It'll be available this summer. My back here is Explore Scientific's classic line of telescopes. 
We start off with the AR series, the five inch and the six inch here. They've gotten lots and lots of great reviews. You can check them out on cloudy nights. Don't take my word for it. Um, six inch aperture has gotten lots of accolades from even guys like Clay Sherrod, who uh, really put it through its paces. We have the Essential Series ED127 uh, 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 telescope. These are F7.5. You're seeing it in metal tube, which is the Essential Series. And then it, we also have it in the carbon fiber. I particularly like carbon fiber because it shaves many pounds off the instrument and a lighter weight telescope works better on any mount that it's placed on. This is the David H. Levy Common Hunter. This is a six inch F4.8. And David collaborated with Explore Scientific to develop a telescope that would be perfect for any beginner. It'll do wide field work. You can search for comets with this telescope because of its rich field properties. Um, but the surprising thing about it is how versatile it is for astrophotography and also for high powered planetary observations. But if you're looking for some more serious aperture, something you can do a lot of deep sky observations with, we have our eight inch uh, Newtonian telescope in carbon fiber. And uh, this is a great telescope for visual observations. You can do some astrophotography with it as well. Uh, extremely great price point. A carbon fiber Newtonian for only $700. Moving on down still, you can still see some of our classic telescopes, including uh, the FCD1 series, uh, Essential Series 102. Let's not forget the uh, 102 millimeter version of the uh, AR series telescopes. Many of you bought this this year. Um, it's just a few hundred dollars. Uh, actually, the price of this instrument is less than some of our eyepieces. So um, if you're looking for a good refractor or four inch, this is a fantastic one. F6.5, comes with the two speed. Get them while they last. The showstopper this year really has been our high-end telescopes. Scott Laws Mandy's equatorial mounts with our new PMC-8 go-to system. This is a wireless system that controls the G11 or the Titan mount with stepper drives. Really quiet system, works with any Windows tablet or phone or PC. The thing that's really interesting about the PMC-8 is that the PMC-8 is also an open architecture system. We're releasing source code, uh, a sample program for developers to look at, uh, and the controlling language. So uh, we're not, this is not a proprietary system. We're really looking forward to working with astronomer programmers to develop what's next, what's going to be the next level in go-to systems for telescopes. Mounted on top of these mounts is the ED-152 uh, airspace triplet. All of our ED APOs are airspace triplets, by the way. And we have uh, the uh, brand new FPL 53 uh, 165 millimeter refractor. This is an F7. We took this to the Winter Star Party. Deep sky objects look absolutely amazing. Jupiter looked like it was cut out of the sky. It was beautiful. Um, uh, this is our top of the line telescope. And it'll be selling for $9,300. There's a poster here that you'll see at our booth. This is a new series called Star Chasers. Uh, filmmaker John Baker has created this uh, new series, which we're proud to uh, help support. You'll be seeing Star Chasers on the web starting this summer. That pretty much wraps up what we have here at NEAT this year. Uh, of course, we'll be back next year, oh, always with something new. Um, but uh, that's it.